Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth. I just wanted to pop in real quick and offer you a little bit of information about the energies that are going on. Don't mind me, I have all my workout clothes happening because when Earth is um, shifting her magnetic field, it's really, really important to get grounded and actually fitness and exercise, even taking a walk outside and reconnecting to energy is actually really, really helpful. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Earth's magnetic frequency the Schumann resonance, solar flares, right? All of the energies that are happening kind of like up there and how they affect you down here. So this is really kind of like a quick lesson um, in the event that you're unfamiliar with any of these energetic components. Um, the first thing is magnetic frequencies and everything has a magnetic frequency. Earth has a magnetic frequency. You have a magnetic frequency or rather your body has a magnetic frequency your soul actually has magnetics right and magnetics are exactly what you think they are they're like magnets they're like drawing energy down and what you do with them is you anchor them into the body right into into the energies and what happens when the magnetic frequencies shift it's really kind of like um, strapping, they're showing me like strapping a magnet to a balloon, right? The magnet will hold to the ground and the balloon will stay very stable. But if you unlock the magnet and it has no weight to it, it becomes, uh, has no gravity, then the balloon will just float away. And that's really kind of what happens with our energy is we become a balloon and we just float away. And that's where you get like the spaciness, the wonkiness, the... <clears throat> feeling not presentness, right? It's because your magnet hasn't been anchored um, down onto the, the appropriate frequency, the appropriate magnetic frequency. So what happens is Earth and your body kind of share like the same frequency. So they're connected. So when Earth changes, Earth is over here, when Earth changes her frequency, the body tries, so let's say she raises her frequency, the body tries to tap in to where she used to be and she's not there and that's when we kind of freak out. That's where we become unbalanced and unstable and like, I don't know what's going on, it feels so spacey, right? Um, so what happens with that is we call that a Schumann resonance, right? The Schumann resonance, which is basically where the Earth's frequency is at the time, and it was named after our professor Schumann, um, so that's why they call it the Schumann resonance, right? So, so it's really where the Earth's frequency is. When Earth shifts her frequency, the Schumann frequency, her magnetics change also, which means you can't ground in to where she used to be. You now have to find a way to ground in where she is, right? And then when you're able to do that, then your, your fields become stable. You become more present. You're not feeling like the zombie. You're not like having anxiety or panicking, right? Those anxious conditions can happen when you're not locked in, right? So that's how these pieces all shift. And all of these pieces can shift due to the sun having solar flares, right? So or, or they're called coronal mass ejections from the sun. So the sun right now has like two holes in it, which is like sucking up energy and just kind of wreaking energetic havoc. There's a solar storm happening kind of out there, which then affects Earth's frequency. There's a coronal, obviously we said that mass, uh, mass uh, ejections, which is when the sun fires off things like solar flares, they kind of come off the sun and they affect Earth's magnetic frequency. Moon changes, um, not so much that I've noticed, but sometimes the moon can just kind of stir things up. Um, but the magnetic frequency, which is really, if I like to think of it, the magnetic frequency is like the grounding frequency. 
uh, your body and earth are kind of like symbiotic with one another. So when we've had uh, energy like we've had over the last couple of days with the solar flares, the solar storms, and uh, the Schumann resonance raising, it's going to be really, really important for you to stay grounded and balanced. And what I'm noticing is regular techniques like um, sage and, and essential oils are helpful, um, but they're not as helpful as if you could locate where Earth is, right? So it's kind of like if you can locate where Earth is on the resonance scale of her magnetics, it's a very simple process to actually have your body lock in, right? So it's kind of like the awareness of, ooh, Earth is, Earth is shifted, <laughs> where are we? And just locating, having your body locate where that resonance is and re-lock back in. It's a very simple process. It will help you really get balanced and stabilized. Um, if you're unfamiliar how to do that, we do have, um, the balance your shift bundle that actually has a process and meditation for it specifically but what happens is the schumann resonance shifts many times throughout a year and goes to different levels and different frequencies we have meteor showers cmes we have solar flares and solar storms they happen all the time as well so this shift of energy of this kind of like whoop i'm not here anymore whoop i'm not here anymore um happens all the time and it happens um, multiple times throughout a year. So if you're very sensitive to those types of shifts, then it's definitely something that you want to uh, invest in, right? Getting those processes or coming up with your own process if you want to, and just making sure that you are tapped into the appropriate magnetic frequency that Earth is at, and then having you and your body lock into that and balancing those grids and those frequencies so that you can actually move throughout whatever is happening in the world in a much more balanced way. So there's no total freak out. There's no zombie mornings. There's no anxiety, right? There's no reason to use food or sugar or caffeine to try to get you and your body balanced and back to earth. Um, those energies actually get stimulated when um, you're ungrounded and we have this tendency and even the body, the consciousness of the body has this tendency to use external resources to try and ground itself back. Um, it's very simple. Once you really get your body and your soul kind of in line into tapping into the appropriate magnetic frequency, you'll find that any cravings that you were using um, food cravings, uh, you were using to ground start to kind of dissipate too because you don't need it. You know how to do it energetically.